happy days friends so class 8 this is your july portion chapter 4 working with tables yes so we were working with ms access right so i told you always excel and access are somewhat similar in its applications like how you freeze a freeze the row insert a row rename the row all, almost everything is similar yes so let's go into the content of this chapter yes so here i have showed you how M, like ms power access powerpoint when you search the screen will come and access will be opening we are learning using 2007 version so those are the topics to be discussed so opening a existing database so already a database is available we will click on the office button yes then open then i'll be selecting one of the uh, access table that i already created so this is the one i created second one is editing a record in a table okay editing a record means entry after entering data sometimes which required to change the data right for that what will we do okay first we will be selecting the table and we will decide on which in the table in the record which record you want to edit it okay suppose if i want to rename the column or so what will i do just see just click over there So that black selected portion comes then i can type whatever editing i want to take whatever changes i want to make in that cell i can do that yes that is one method second is hiding column how to already existing column how do we hide it in excel we select that column yes then we right click and we select hide column right same way in access also there is not much difference i selected the column i selected hide hide columns yes see so two columns in total i have hide it now i want to unhide them yes and the next topic is unhide the columns so same like how we do for excel i'll be selecting any one of the column any one column you select okay and select unhide columns a tab will come asking you which column you want to hide or i mean unhide yes so i selected all three then click on close so see all the columns has appeared yes next one is freeze column next topic will be freezing the or unfreezing the column so freeze column means if you do it for a big database you will easily be able to identify same like in excel what we are doing over here is will be that particular column will be freezed which means it will be over there itself it will not be moving uh, like the rest columns you can move as if there are a lot of columns the rest columns keeps on moving but this column alone uh, irrespective of the direction you scroll it will remain over there itself usually like freezing column at the left most of the table you can select the column and can keep on scrolling right this alone will not be uh, will not be moving irrespective of however you scroll whether you scroll to the right or the left of the screen this particular column alone will not move yes so in your textbook they are showing you the steps like move uh, table already we are in data sheet view also so we just you know, just open the data sheet view then they asked you to select the column heading then select freeze column yes then you will be able to you will not be able to move extreme left if you also move if you extreme right also you move that particular column alone can i selected row instead if you want you can take it as address any column can be selected okay okay next for unfreezing unfreezing similarly as i showed you you have to select that particular column and just click un un unfreeze all columns right unfreeze all columns yeah so next is inserting or dating a field inserting a field how do you do it for excel you just insert a column and you enter the name similarly if you want to delete something you will select that column and give delete option so i am doing it towards the end towards the end of the table i mean or of the record i am entering one that is not field one i am renaming it let's say parent phone number or something because address is already existing so i am renaming it with parents name yeah 
then I have given some values ok now I want to delete that field so symbol delete the column column the field is deleted in the textbook there are some other words like they are selecting the column then click on delete button in the field columns in the data sheet tab there you can give a yes confirmation then you will be deleted that is also that also can be done particularly now in the data sheet view fine next renaming and moving a field i don't think so since you have learned excel this not will is this topic will be that tough for you because renaming you know you will double click and rename it if you are moving you will just press on click on that particular column and move it right so see how i renamed it so you'll be selecting the column header you want to rename and you will be click on you either you can click on rename if you double click also that current will be coming in a black highlighted form right then you can type over there okay now what i'm doing is i'm moving h towards the end i selected that call now if i name see my pointer is moving i selected name wait name and address got selected together okay fine moving through records okay that i think i already discussed with you that towards the end of the um, screen you can see a navigation button yeah that is how you can move through the records first it takes your first record previous record specific record anywhere you want you can navigate that is how you move through a record next is lookup wizard so over here i talk given way two ways on lookup wizard one is uh, like lookup wizard first method what i am telling you like it's not discussed in the textbook it's the rarest case where you don't have a unique id let's say i want to put a lookup lookup um, lookup wizard but i don't have a unique id so i'm combining two columns and creating a unique id and with the basis suppose uh, most of your names some of your names will be uh, repeated right let's say sam sam may be having sam um, sam vincent sam vincent only the change in six standard also we may have sam since seven standard also you may have samson sam vincent then how we identify we identify with the admission number so if i combine admission number and the student's name together then that will be a unique id so just have a look how i'm doing so you might be wondering why is lookup wizard required to select the value from another table and from the list of tables suppose they are already given an exam in your textbook like class 12 you can opt any of the following department you can create a department table yes but this is only possible if you have a unique value as i said you so see what i am doing i am clicking uh, look table i selected one of the table in this i had selected two values yes two more values however you want yes so each i am giving the first one both the ways i showed you phone number then name okay so all three values will up come up appear for you now just wait yeah so this is how it comes phone number and name together you will get if you put a scroll uh, the drop down you will get these two values now if you want to give the field name that particular new field which comes i'm giving the values department okay the field department will come and that in the drop down you will see both these values the roll number and the name okay here roll number and the name i mean phone number and the name yes so these are unique values another method is that is discussed in your textbook is whether one department only like if a roll number alone name alone or section alone i can't take it that's the second method that also i'll show you over here yes i selected another lookup column and i select another table lookup column i am selecting one of the table over here student that is earlier i did friends right so now i'm taking student list okay i have to select so i am selecting any one okay so i had to press that arrow over there navigation arrow then press next over here i can select only one yes then i'll press next see roll number has come so i can again put a field name for this this also i named as department so see in the drop down only your roll number comes in yes okay so with that i have completed the chapter
now what i am going to do is lamp activity i had to explain it to you right so in this in this we are going to do lamp activity that is activity 2 in page number 37 i already given a question so that question you are supposed to write in the class work and this table after the steps this table this will be output so if this were possible please try it out at home else we'll do it in the computer lab once you are back so they asked 10 records so i have taken 10 records as seen in the output yes teacher details as a table's name okay so first they ask us to create a table and enter the 10 records so you can create the 10, uh, 10 records then they asked you to rename uh, rename uh, mo earlier it was mobile number that you are supposed to rename to contact number then you have to set re uh, registration number as a primary key i think how to create a registration number just select that column and click on primary key it will be set as primary key so the steps are given in page number 37 in your textbook page number 37 they are given you the steps so i'm selecting registration and just rearranging it oh this cell got selected okay okay so I think like activity 2 page number 37 the steps has been given I have given you the 10 entries yes please try it out following the steps if you have any doubt clarify during class time yes okay thank you students have a nice day